some guys to talk about it as South Carolina won the toss they elected to defer to the second half and Ryan Suckup bombs it deep in the end zone Vincent Marshall with no chance to bring it out so now let's take a look at the plays hope you enjoy the game well that play made by Byron Ely down the left sideline with a first down and then some third down and two turns into a big play and we may be looking at a direct snap to Allrich and it's a reverse Trying to turn the corner is Vincent Marshall. And not a bad job by the South Carolina defense to string that play out and avoid a big look over towards our Riles on the sideline to get a play call. And here it comes on first and ten. Wide open towards the end zone. And an easy touchdown for Vincent Marshall. It couldn't get any easier for Houston than that. You know, he looks over to the sideline, Cobb looks over, they get the play. They're so relaxed in this offense because of the field general. Cobb is uh, a difference maker. It looked to me like the corner was playing man-to-man, -to -man, and the defender over the slot thought it was zone. The extra point is good. And Cobb's offense. Three receivers and an eye set on first down. Blake Mitchell at quarterback, and he goes to the air on first down. Dumps it over the middle. And picks up about eight yards. Yeah. We really have to get some ESPN people down here to get these guys to come out of their shells when we <laughs> ask them to do this stuff. Screen to the near side. And Corey Boyd, very close to a first down. At the 41-yard jump, you'll show you some of the best of Anthony Aldridge. <laughs> he was as entertaining as could be. He already has a best of album out, huh? That's right. Rice goes to the wide side. First and ten. Back to the ground, though, and Mike Davis gets the corner. He's at the 20. Finally brought down at the 16-yard line. Matchups that he wants. Well, South Carolina got all the way down to the 16-yard line, took a delay of game, now had to burn a timeout, end a sack. It's third and 18. Mitchell looking to scramble and gives himself up. Got back to the original line of scrimmage. A gain of eight, and it will this one a 33-yarder to try and get South Carolina on the board. 15 of 18 overall this year. And Suck up, missed it to the right. Yep. Off for the, for the South Carolina Gamecocks. Anthony Allridge is even faster. Allridge calls himself quick six. This will be a quick sack. Jasper Brinkley brings down Cobb. A loss of four. And three downs and out goes Houston. Turns, I got the glasses. Well, the Gamecocks have the football back with great field position, just shy of midfield. To the ground, staying on his feet and getting to the outside is Corey Boyd with a first down. Took the initial contact and picked the quiet so far. Third down and eight. Houston showed blitz for a moment. They rush only four. Mitchell trying to buy some time, looking towards Rice. Rice was going to come back and help him for a moment. Instead, Mitchell scrambles and literally gets right to the first. Where's my Western Michigan buddy Saunders? <laughs> Mitchell is given the first down. <laughs> And back to the ground and Corey Boyd. And Boyd again runs through a tackle and moves the pile down close to the 16-yard line, a gain of eight. And again, the play clock down inside of 10 as Mitchell barks out signals at the line. Once again, it's to the ground. This is Mike Davis. He has a first down. Stays on his feet, and he's to the five. Well, these South Carolina running backs do an amazing job of running through the and back in. Ninth play of the drive coming up. Third down and goal just outside the one. It is a statement when you walk into the end zone that easily. It is a statement. Suck up is excellent at extra points as well. <laughs> I made it. Okay, good. I feel better. <laughs> Tied it. Taken up by Houston fans. So on third down and a long three, all of the South Carolina fans making noise until Houston picks up the first down as Aldridge gets out across the 30 to the 31 that went at least 77 yards. Spread set. Cobb looks downfield under pressure. And he'll go down. Back at the 31-yard line. Casper Brinkley with the sack. Scott Harris with us as well. And Houston faced with second down and 11. Cobb to the near sideline. Trying to tippy-toe his way. And looking like he did exactly that. A nice catch by Jerron Harvey. Faced with third down and two now. At their own 40-yard line. Vincent Marshall with the touchdown catch. In motion, he takes the wide receiver hitch and almost got free. 
did well just to reach the ball out to the sticks. Cap so explosive, and he certainly made that pay off. Four receivers, design rollout on third down at six. To the sideline, making the catch is Avery. And he gets tripped up, or he might have gone the distance. That's a touchdown saving ca uh, tackle by Bennett. Tackle there, buddy. Carlos Thomas gambled and went for the pick. A gain of 16, first and 10. Shovel pass and some running room. Here's Marshall inside the 30. Run out at about the 26-yard line for a gain of nearly 12 yards. Perspective, almost hard to deal with the same system for seven years because he thinks so much. Play action, second down and long. And the ball knocked down at the line and intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Lindsay. What a great play by Lindsay. Lindsay just reaches up and snatches it. Cobb now with four interceptions on the season and about 400 attempts. Looking for Rice deep downfield and finding him is Blake Mitchell. The first big play of the game made by Sidney Rice. You knew it was coming. Out of bounds at the team. Now joined by Kenny McKinley. Mitchell steps up, fires a bullet up the seam, and it's caught by Rice at the 10. First down, South Carolina, Ernest Mitchell, Ernest Miller. First and 10 at the 12. Again, Mitchell to the air. Checks down to his back. Stafford tries to pull his way into the end zone. He's brought down at the one. Bernard Stafford, who is a junior and has never carried the football. In the tailback is Mike Davis. Play action. Mitchell, wide open, back of the end zone. An easy touchdown for Robert Pavlovic. And the Gamecocks take the lead for the first time. Pavlovic is not necessary. <laughs> First touchdown of the season for Pavlovic. And a ball off the uprights, no good from Suckup. Really, the strength of their team this year has been their defense. Yeah, they've only allowed 17 points a game with that tough SEC schedule. It's pretty impressive. Here comes quick six, Anthony Allridge, and he is upended after picking up. Sometimes you're going a little too full speed. Third down and one, a keeper. And this depends on the spot. I'm not sure he got to the 30-yard line. Every drive so far for Houston has started. It's fourth down and a half yard for the Cougars at their own 30-yard line. And off the timeout, they come back out to go for it, run a play, and they pick it up. Absolutely. Right up the middle goes battle for the first down. Love it. Got over the ball in a hurry. Quick snap and just lay it up in there. I'll tell you what, they got a good downhill runner to run the short yardage for us. Down a very gutsy call from Mark Riles and the Houston Cougars coaching staff. Now downtown, a jump ball on the sideline. Flags fly. Jerron Harvey made the catch. I think he was out of back. Uh, we'll try we, we, we appreciate we'll try it. We'll try and muddle along with you as best we can. I, I need muddling. Second and eight from midfield. Cobb steps up, under pressure, somehow escapes the rush, and finds his man. What a play by Cobb as now we check him. And he's got Kentucky on track now. Cobb again, play action on first down, looks downfield, up the sideline, he has Aldridge. First down, down to the 16-yard line. Well, there's Aldridge as a receiver yard line, a five-man front for the Gamecocks. They run into it, up the middle, plenty of room for battle. And he picks up nine yards down to the seven. That's an identical twin brother. He might be playing here. They could have two steps on the same team. Well, they need to stop here, third and goal. Cobb to throw at the goal line. An easy touchdown. Walking across the tight end, Mark Hafner. And we're tied at 13. Looks like they lost the tight end coming across on the underneath route. You got to see the guy gets turned loose. Bell's actually an extra point from Ben Bell. Third down and nine. Four man rush. Mitchell underneath looking for Rice. Knocked away. Kenneth Fontanet forces South Carolina to put the football away. Great job. You could, yeah, you could tell. They really did impact it. They felt it. The maturity level. I mean, it's amazing the, the maturity in these kids and the way that really it, it, it struck them. Aldridge with a gain of a couple, lost the football. South Carolina thinks they have it, and they do. Anthony Aldridge, an innocent enough looking play into the line, but the ball was pulled out. The turnover inside Houston's red zone. Davis motions out of the backfield. 
Mitchell looks to the end zone for Rice. Back corner. Caught. Touchdown. Rice used every last inch of real estate to drag a foot. 19-yard touchdown strike. One play after the fumble, and the Gamecocks have the lead back. What a catch by Rice. Suckup's extra point is good. Two and an interception. Second down at 10 from midfield. And about an eight-yard gain as Donnie Avery. Kind of clock malfunction right now as Cobb has set up third down and two. The trap handoff up the middle. Plenty of room. Jackie Battle. Touchdown. 42 yards. He's a short yardage goal line guy, isn't he? You're downhill runner there, Craig? Yeah, he got downhill all right, but he came out of the track meet blocks, and I'll tell you where the malfunction was, Bob. The malfunction was on the there. We just couldn't get to the running back to make the play. The point after is perfect. 21-20. <laughs> so now Mitchell goes to work. Looks downfield. Creates some room for Rice. He's got it. At the 36-yard line, a quick strike from Mitchell to Sidney Rice. Kenneth Fontenet made the stop again at 28. When a quarterback can stop. Sidney Rice now with 95 yards and a touchdown here in the first half. To the outside goes Corey Boyd. Breaks a tackle. Spins out of bounds at the 27-yard line with 122. Knocking the ball out. Third down and one. Boyd the lone setback. And looking for the first down is Boyd, and he's got it. So the clock will stop as Boyd moves the pile to about the 22-yard line. One and two. Mitchell comes underneath, has Corey Boyd, and he's inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. First down, that stops the clock. 52 seconds to go. First and goal for the Gamecocks. At the yeah, top of the your screen off. goes Sidney Rice. Here comes the blitz. It's a handoff instead to Boyd. At the 5. Touchdown. Corey Boyd weaves his way up the middle, and the Gamecocks take the lead back. A nine-yard touchdown run with 42 seconds to go in the half. This is looking easy. How's this shootout going? And now Sucka, who has missed an extra point. Not this time. Right down the middle, and it's a six-point lead for South Carolina. With this, this, the school hopping stuff is killing these programs. Cobb looking for a big play before halftime. Finds a man open over the middle. Marshall down the sideline. It stays in bounds. Oh, touchdown. Unbelievable. Second touchdown of the first half for Vincent Marshall. That one good for 77 yards. And Houston's tied the game with 11 seconds to go in the first half. Most teams with Neil on the... They come out and they're firing the ball down the field for a touchdown before half. Well, Vincent Marshall in his career now, about 3,700. South Carolina faced with third and one. Davis, he will not get there. Second effort got him close, but he stopped a half yard shy. Now, this is the exact same spot, Bob, if you make it. <laughs> if, if. I set, Davis is the tailback. They run the play, they run wide. Davis. Just does reach his way across the 30 to pick up the first down. And boy, he looked like he was stopped at second and 10. To the outside, there goes Mitchell. Noah right side, loose. Into Houston territory with a first down. Check that McKinley picks up 26 yards. And now Mitchell with the play clock at nine. Drops straight back. Dumps it down to Boyd. In the open field, making players miss in space. Gets to the outside and has a first down to the 25-yard line as we check. And Houston shows blitz. Here they come from the blind side. The ball comes out. And the Gamecocks recover. A loss of about three yards. That time the all-out blitz came. And Mitchell was sacked 45 yards away. It has plenty of leg, and this one is perfect. And that gives the game so far in this game, and they have the two-point lead. To the near side, it's Marshall. And he steps out of bounds with the first down at the 32. 
I remember watching him as a freshman, played, I think, up at Michigan. And for one quarter, they were with him for a while. <laughs> then the floodgates opened. Bob, a bullet to the outside. Has Donnie Avery for a first down into South Carolina territory. He doesn't get a lot of sacks. Bob empties the backfield on second and five, and it's a trap inside handoff to Rashawn Pope. And he has a first down and a gain of seven to the Cougars' 35-yard line. Defense off balance. Riles voted as the Conference USA Coach of the Year by the other coaches in the conference. On second and ten. A bullet thrown by Cobb. And he has Avery for a game. Six for eight on third down. Third down and two. They keep it on the ground and they won't get there. Jackie Battle stuffed in the middle. He tells you to do. He, he feels that quarterback is an extension of the coaching staff, and he believes in it. And they'll run the football. Ulrich gets the corner. First down and more. Out of bounds with a late hit inside the 20 yard line at about the 16. Shotgun set for Cobb. Four receivers. Trips to the top of your screen. And the missed snap. Cobb after the loose ball. And kicks it out of bounds backwards. And flags come out. Awesome down from that spot right where he it's kicked an illegal it. Illegal kick from the spot of the foul. It's a 15-yard penalty. Also lost it down. This will put them back near midfield. Now they creep back up. And it looks like Mitchell's changing the play at the line. Four seconds on the play clock. Easily gets the snap off and finds Rice right at the first down marker. Then that will be good for a South Carolina. 354 total yards for Houston. And adding to the total, another first down. Mike Davis picks up five. L.C. Kirkpatrick, Corey Boyd back in a tailback. And it's a flea flicker. Back to Mitchell. Looks downfield. Mo Brown. Jump ball. Intercepted by Willie Gaston. The flea flicker not only doesn't fool Gaston, he's in perfect position, and he turns over. Scored so far in the second half between both teams. Cobb faced with third down and seven. Four-man rush. Comes underneath. Tipped ball incomplete. Intended for Mark Hafner, the tight end. Jasper Brinkley broke it up. This game is a big one. Because things offensively have bogged down a bit here in the second half. A check down as Mitchell finds Corey Boyd. And Boyd squeezes his way to a first down out to the... Boyd, the lone setback. Two tight ends. He gets the call and finds a crease. Boyd to the outside. First down. Out across the 45 to the 46. Willie Gaston pushed him out. You do well and stay with it. First and 10. So far, it's been the ground attack that has gone well for South Carolina on this drive. Sets up play action. Wide open at the 10-yard line. And walking into the end zone. Kenny McKinley, 43 yards. You run it, you run it, fake the run, and all of a sudden, you get man coverage. Hammer, 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 play action, deep crosser. Actually, I believe Rice was running an out on the left. McKinley as he came down the middle of the field. So the thought, though, was the corner on the left side of the field, and he jumped up on a route. So once with a bogus here. So. Wow. Yeah. Now the 158. Can't do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> so his SAT score. <laughs> Scrambles, trying to buy some time. And he'll buy some yards with his legs. Out of bounds at the 46-yard line, a gain of five. <laughs> That's great. Being the king, that is today's Subway fresh fact. Shovel pass inside. Harry McDaniel. And that one was snuffed out on third down and four by the South Carolina. Hanging the outcome of the game on this play. Fourth down and four. They're two for two on fourth down. Won't get this one. Ulrich brought down at the 50. A gain of only three. And Houston turn field. Third down and three. And they crowd the box. Back to throw Mitchell. Under some pressure. Wants the home run. sure to be excessive celebration. Great job by Mitchell standing in there. He had pressure in his face. The offensive lineman back in his lap. 
Hang in there, hang in there, put it up, and let your receiver make a play for you. It's an auto zone Liberty Bowl record. And the extra point is good. That's the second hookup between those two. Now Vincent Marshall. He has been quiet so far in the second half, but he's into plus three for Houston with six and a half minutes to play. It's been four down territory at their own 30 yard line. Of course, it'll be four down territory. Not necessary, though. Donnie Avery picks up the first down to the 27 yards of the first half and a little shy of 70 in the second half. First and 10. Looks to hitch one left. Has a man. Breaking free is Harvey at the 10. Curls his way down to about the three. It's first and goal. Savell Newton saved a touchdown. The end zone. First and goal at the three. They trap up the middle. Battle. Touchdown. Well, there's the quick strike we talked about, almost as if they were listening to the two of you up here. The Allridge the tailback. Three wide receivers. It's an option. Allridge. In. Two-point conversion. And we have a one-possession game with 542 to play. They've averaged 6.6 .6 yards to go. This is third and seven. Mitchell to throw. He'll tuck it under. Scramble. And he won't get there. Brought down a yard shy. With South Carolina going for it on fourth and one. They run the play. It's Boyd. He didn't get there. Oh, my goodness. Wade Cole comes up to lead the charge for Houston. Steve's like, oh, this is going to be fun now. Defense. And Houston comes up with a huge stop. Now Cobb to work. A one possession game, trying to buy some time. Gets tripped up and sacked. Casper Brinkley brings him down. That's a loss of nearly 15 yards. This is probably four down territory for Houston. They may not try and pick up the whole 23 here. Cobb comes underneath. Behind his intended receiver, Donnie Avery incomplete. It's fourth and 23. Fourth and 23. There's number 17, Marshall. It's a four-man rush. Cobb finds Avery well shy of the first down. And Houston turns it over on down. South Carolina waits till the play clock gets down just about to zero before snapping and handing to Corey Boyd. 45 seconds to go, and they have yet to run the play clock, so they will your life. <laughs> <laughs> to the near side, it's Marshall. And he's got players out in front. A safety defense is out there for South Carolina. They're waiting for Marshall to arrive where they have set up the wall, and that will do it. A wild AutoZone Liberty Bowl goes to South Carolina. The first time that Steve Spurrier has ever won a bowl game with the Gamecocks. We've had a great time. Thanks for joining us. Again, our final, 44-36. Carolina over Houston now. It's time.